Nah. We're greedy. Oh, yeah. And a sunfall? The greed. Greed! Greed is how you win. Greed is how you win this game. All right? Hello, my fair citizens. My name is Strider Stone. I'm the mayor of Sodium City, and today we have an old classic Revival Revenge deck. You all love it, and so do I. Let's get into it. The reason that this deck is so near and dear to my heart is because it's the very first deck that got me to Mythic years back when it was actually in Standard when the latter very first came out. So this is just a little bit of a revisit for funsies. Let me know in the comment section below if you do like decks like this. So Revenge is a six mana sorcery that doubles your life, which is great, but opponent also halves their life rounded up. Now that rounded up part is very important, you know, because math. So let's do some quick maths, shall we? If the opponent is at 20 life and we cast revenge once, they're going to lose half of their life. Half of their life is 10, so they're going to lose 10 life. That takes them down to 10 HP, right? Pretty simple. The next time we cast it, they're going to lose half of their life. Now, half of 10 is five, so they're going to lose five life. Pretty easy, they're at five HP now. Here's where it gets complicated for some people. Now, when we cast Revenge again, half of five is 2.5. Now, obviously, like the card said, we're gonna round up. So 2.5 rounds up to three, which means opponent is going to lose three life. The way the card reads, when it loses half their life, round it up. Again, they're going to lose three life. This takes them down to two HP. So we're going to cast revenge again, taking them down to one because they're going to lose one. And then we're going to cast revenge again. And that's going to do 0.5 of their HP. We're going to round it up and then they're going to lose one HP. Now, for those of you who were actually paying attention to that whole long spiel of maths, because everyone loves math, right? Then you'll notice that that was five revenges. Obviously, you can only have four in your deck unless you're playing competitive paper magic, and then you can do basically whatever you want, and that's why competitive magic is a f joke, right? Everybody knows that. So unless you're playing paper magic, you can only have four in your deck. And this is where... Primal Amulet comes in. Primal Amulet is a four mana do nothing artifact, basically, but it does have an aura that makes all of your instants and sorceries one colorless cheaper, which is amazing because almost everything in this deck is an instant and sorcery, so everything gets really, really cheap, and we like that. So every time we cast one of those, we get to put a counter on it. Whenever there are four or more counters on Primal Amulet, you can choose to flip it. You don't have to but you can flip it into Primal Wellspring. Primal Wellspring is what we really want. This is then a land that can tap for any color mana, which can be nice, right? But when you use that mana to cast an instant or sorcery, you're going to copy it. And this is how we get five revenges. Now, of course, we are going to have to have an alternate win condition just in case because YouTube comments and my stream will yell at me if I don't. Uh, so we have Torment of Hailfire. This is an X black black sorcery that has the opponent repeat the following process X times. You lose three life unless you sacrifice a non-land permanent or discard a card. This is amazing late game. And if you end up copying it with the Primal Wellspring mana, it does copy the X amount. If you did X equals five and you use Primal Wellspring mana, technically x equals 10 if they counter then x still equals 5 because he can't counter the copy right so that's also very good now again i want to give a huge shout out to all the twitch subs and youtube members who all have been amazing lately we just need one more youtube member to get all the names on the very front page of the entire channel we're at seven we need that eighth one so if anyone wants to be that lucky number eight the person to push it through just go ahead and hit that join button and you'll see all of the benefits that you get. You get immortalized, plus there's a lot of benefits coming 
for the long-term members and subscribers. So if you wanna get on the ground floor of that, you're gonna to have to start your membership now. I still don't know if I can recommend building this list just because it has a lot of older cards that are probably not gonna be used in any deck outside of this deck that I revisit every year or so. Probably twice a year, right? But it does really well on the draw always, and I always have a winning rate with it, and that's kind of all that matters to me. And again, it has a little bit of uh, a special place in my heart. So that is my forewarning. It usually goes about 60 to 80%, but you have to play very greedy with the deck, all right? Very, very greedy. And I think I talk about it in the game, so you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, if you did want to build the deck, it's going to cost you 37 rares and two mythic so it's not terrible especially if you've built one of these decks of mine in the past it's probably not that bad you probably already have all of these cards except for maybe one or two of the new ones or some of the lands but we do vote for what brews we play all the time on stream five days a week every day except monday and wednesday schedules in the description below along with the text-based version of this exact deck list but if you want to go to the aether hub page you can click on that card at that pops out at the top right hand corner of the video that has all of my old deck lists all of my updated deck lists when they come out so definitely check those out but the most important thing you could do obviously would be to share the video with someone who you think would enjoy it that helps the youtube video grow as much as possible so tap that like button attack that sub button stay salty and enjoy the games Um, oh, what is this hand? It's fine. Uh, I thought I still had Blast Zone in the deck at that time, which would have destroyed their whole board, and we would have been fine. And it would have been GG easily. Easily. That deck isn't supposed to be passives anyway. It's all anti-actives. Or if I had Sunfall in the deck, that would have been fine too, because then I would have had a big-ass Sunfall creature. You know what I'm saying? I don't need another one. Blue. This is not good. Oh, I don't even think I have that many basics for those environmental sciences to be all that great. Sheesh. Well, I'm either dead or I'm alive. All right, I'm alive. Hog champion. <laughs> yes, I had fun. I beat prowess. Scoop to Wrath of God, of course. Who doesn't? I didn't even look at my hand. I saw two lands and a Fateful Absence, and I kept it. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, is it a bad hand? I feel like this is a bad hand. This is a bad hand, right? It's fine. We're going to reprieve something. I'm ready. I'm hype. We did it. It was everything I dreamed it would be. I'm gonna go and kill this now just because I can't oops sorry opponent I can't guarantee they don't have some random indestructible thing not many people play Realm Waker Ugh. all right there's no way I die there's no way. What did they cast? What did they just cast that killed me? What the fuck? <laughs> I see you wish to join the vanquished dead of Dominaria's history. We will endure all trespassers. Okay, this is fine. Get a cram session. Gonna cram that. And let's go ahead and exile everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm cramming it. I love it when people whiff on Coco and cast another non creature spell, right? I kind of want to kill that, but me. I kind of want... I might just need to get my Immortal Sun out. Which I cannot do. Yet. There's no way they trade with that, right? Right? Okay. Oh, hey, oh, there's no way they trade with us, right? Yeah, these new coals that I got are horrible. They're terrible. They're terrible. I hate them all a lot. Yeah, when Reprieve flips your primal amulet, it's like the best thing ever. Harmony with nature is our greatest strength. Should I just do it? Let's do it. We have Surge for backup. You know what I'm saying? Surge is a good backup. They have a lot of non-creature spells for a Coco deck. I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie.
I will double cast Undercity Plunder on you. Yes, I will. Discard at least two. I'll take some elves from you. Sure. Yeah, so flip Primal Amulet will double my Heliods. You discarded a Crater Hoof? No shot, you're discarding your whole hand from that, right? No shot. You're running Coco with a Crater Hoof, an Olamog, a Vanquisher's Banner, and a Fraley's. What? I won't just wither and rot. Uh... Ooh, great card. All right, so we're going to get rid of everything. And what we do here is we're going to get a ton of life from double casting Heliod's intervention. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. So 16 to 32, 32. And then I double cast Revival Revenge and then kill them with my 4-4 four, four token. You got it. That is how you win Magic the Gathering. That is how you win Magic the Gathering. Outplayed. Their deck was a tad bit on the odd side, though. I must say. They were running a lot of cards that Collected Company won't hit. And that is obviously why they whiffed, but maybe they were only running like one Coco and not like the typical four. And that's why it was just kind of like an okay, sure, why not thing. Turn to Reprieve. Beginning of your end step, if you gain life this turn, create a blood token. Sacrifice two blood tokens, transform it. Transforms uh, at the end of your, at the beginning of your end step, if you gain life, create a blood token. Okay. And five, each opponent loses two life. Okay. <laughs> that is horrible. Ha! Ah. Never saw that coming, did you? I think I'm going to have to wrath now. I think I have to wrath. Mmm, they're out of cards. Nah, we're greedy. Oh, yeah, and a sunfall? The greed. Greed! Greed is how you win. Greed is how you win this game, all right? See? Sunfall is now four mana. And this only procs 
when another creature dies. They only had one card in their hand. I don't think they can do 20 damage in one turn. Hopium. I say that all the time, and it always ends up biting me in the ass. All right, that's one. I'll take it. The big slurp. Uh, let's spin out the deck a little bit more. You know, let's just get another white source. Why not? But next turn, we can Primal Amulet, Cram Session into the other one. Flip this Primal Amulet and almost flip the other one too. It's free, 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 free. It's free real estate. I love it when things are free. And it's a 5-5. Five five. Oh, yeah, baby. Kerchonk. <laughs> I love it. I love it when my stuff is free. Because Primal Wellspring makes all of our spells one... Well, all of our instants and sorceries one colorless cheaper. Which is almost everything in our deck, right? It's a lot of blood tokens. Uh, let's just go ahead and attack with five. And have it become a three, three till end of turn. Uh, let's just go ahead and do this. I am going to copy this. We're gonna draw two cards. We're not gonna be able to flip the amulet, but we are gonna gain a ton of life. That's four. That's five. Why not? Let's just do it again and flip it. And then we're gonna gain another another little bit. Another little bit of life. If they don't gain any life, they lose. If they stay at ten, they lose. That's all we know. Do you have land destruction? There's no shot, right? I would be so sad. So, Revival Revenge will have their life total rounded up. So, half their life total rounded up is five. And then... Half of it again. Nope. Oh, they didn't even get to see what I was going to do. All right, so I'll show you. I'll show you what I was going to do. So, being able to copy Revenge twice means I get three copies of it, right? So, Revenge, double your life total, which would have been great, but we didn't need it. But their life total is going to be halved three times, but it gets halved, rounded up. So, half of 10 is five, so they're going to lose five life. And then half of five is 2.5, but you round that up because... 0.5 rounded up is three, right? So then they're going to lose three life going down to two. That's two. No, then they would have been out of one. Okay, never mind. I lied. They, I needed to cast four times. I lied to everybody. I just lied to the whole... I'm a Weasley little liar. Will someone tell Strider he's literally lying? I am destroying my low end and increasing my top end. And I feel that this is a really, really bad idea. So if we lose two games in a row, back to back, I think I'm going to remake the deck. Fateful not good for this deck, question mark? Oh, it's at 62? Oh. Oops. My bad. Uh, why is Fateful not good for this deck? Crokey's as a command uh for control and something like taking a lot of skill and wait to cast tough for an empty board yeah 
I did not realize there was 62. I thought I had 61. Now I need to find my bazooka bog. Getting this up to two is nice. You're just used. Wait, so why would they... Why would running Fateful Absence be bad in the deck? If you're used to it on plane, it hits creatures and planeswalkers. I got no creatures or planeswalkers. Nice try though. I think I have to keep up my surge. Um, what cards would I recommend grinding? <sighs> Anything in standard, probably. Um, it, it depends. It also depends on how how much money you're investing. Uh, because MTG Arena is cheaper than paper uh, by default. But if you're just getting into it now and you're trying to get into the eternal formats, like when Pioneer gets in, which is called Explore right now, or Historic, there's so many sets. Um, so it, first you have to know what format you're getting into. If you're new to the game entirely, it's kind of hard to say. Yeah, it's kind of hard to say. Um, do you have any more specifics? It's a really, really generic question, unfortunately. I would love to help. But if you're a brand new player, it's... Yeah. Um... Do you know much about magic? Like, have you played it all before? I could exile that. That would use my whole turn been playing since brothers war and really enjoy commander hmm when was brothers war I'm trying to think of when Brothers War was around. About 10 months ago. It's still in standard then, right? Throne of Eldraine, that's some strong cards for Historic. actually have to take a look at some of the sets uh it may be if you're good at drafting it's probably ideal to draft honestly Ooh, not good I 
If they have anything left. Just a face breaker. Just. Uh, they would upgrade Deft. How you doing, baby? Um, yeah, I don't know. It's. Are there any good land cycles at that time? I'm trying to think. Definitely going to cast this and then double cast Union. That's going to give me a ton of life. T -t -t ton of life. And hopefully get a land. Good land. I said a land specifically, not multiple lands. You better not give me multiple lands. It's a good card. Yeah, having a surge to prevent them from actually doing anything to us is great. Our blast zone is on two, so we can destroy that Oni cunt anvils. Both of them. I'm at 33. You can take me down to 31. That's fine. Wait, did they make treasures from this? Yeah. You got it. got it I have more life than you're gonna be able to destroy trust me one two three no yep. and then I still have surge and this so whatever they decide to play, if they play anything. Hopefully they actually play a creature, honestly, so that I can kill it. And then I can just throw out Surge, flip my Primal Amulet. That might have been the worst... That might have been the worst card that they could have pulled. And... Ooh, but they don't have... Oh, they don't have the double black. They don't have the double black for it. I don't like this. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna have top deck some card draw. Cram session would be nice. Do I, I don't have any creatures or planeswalkers in here. I'll leave that for discard. Cause they're gonna they're gonna discard my they're gonna discard that or they're gonna cast their Croza so I'll throw that down I'm gonna lose some extra life extra extra life that is super unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Welcome back. What'd you get from Culver's? Dude, I haven't had Culver's in a minute. Oh, 
Okay. They attack. I have to... You know, I actually have to do this now. That's super unfortunate. I would have loved to triple cast it, but double cast it's fine. So we're going to have to double cast revenge because I don't want to go this low. Because if I'm doubling my life total, I want to make sure it's double double, right? And since they'd either make us discard a land, which we would lose life. We're just going to cast Surge. Surge Ibaka, the shot blocka. All right. Sunfall off the top. Calling it right now, Sunfall off the top. This is a lot of damage every turn. Sunfall. All right, well, triple casting Union, definitely not bad. We can still get a Sunfall off the top. Not a Sunfall. Not a Sunfall. Nice. Still not a sunfall. So the big things we can get here to win are three revival revenges, our one torment and hellfire. Uh, Heliod's intervention would be ridiculous. Burger and onion rings? I'm not an onion ring person. Nice. 69 again. We got 69 twice this game. Sucks that Faithful Absence is only one mana now. Oh no. What a biolab. Then I mean, it's not great. It's not a great spot. Yeah, happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. They do get to draw cards. They can pay one, sack that, make a 3-3. Three, three. I don't know why they wouldn't... We have a lot of outs. We do have a lot of outs. Um, We do have a little bit of life. That's six, right? Oh, five others. So they need two more cards in the graveyard. Wrath of God. I'm so good at this game. I am actually a God gamer. God gamer. God gamer. And we're triple casting it because you got to flex on them. Esports. I'll take one damage, sure. Now they do get to play their Croza. I can't do double dream hands anymore. My, my channel got dinged hard when I did double dream hands. GG's! It's the GG's! 
<laughs> so they're gonna go down to two and then they're gonna go down to one and then they're gonna go down to zero unless they can gain life all right i'll take it it's mine it's my life and i want it now Thank you all so much for watching. If you made it to this point, it means you either really enjoyed the video or you fell asleep and I'm waking you up now. <laughs> either way, thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification. Come out with videos seven days a week.